Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. So we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rose Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. The Caleb Love transfer portal saga is continuing because Caleb Love is decommitted from the Michigan Wolverines, and he is back in the transfer portal. I'm going to go over where I think Caleb Love could possibly go next and what is the future potentially for the Michigan Wolverines basketball program. Now, for Michigan, this is a bad blow to lose Caleb Love. He was the headline transfer for Portal Edition that Michigan was bringing in with Jawan Howard at head coach. Hunter Dickinson, he is out and he's transferring to Kansas. So Michigan is really devoid of talent right now. They still have some solid players, but they're also going to be losing Kobe Bufkin and Jet Howard to the NBA draft. They need some talent. And Caleb Love was that infusion of talent from the North Carolina Tar Heels that Michigan was looking for. And Caleb Love, say what you want about the guy, but he is a talented basketball player. He averaged 16 points per game with Carolina this past season. He averaged a few rebounds and assists. He's just your prototypical six foot four guard. He was a former five star recruit, McDonald's All American. He's got talent, and maybe Michigan could have been the place for Kale Love to be able to springboard himself to the NBA draft, but now he will no longer be staying at Michigan. Now, a lot of people are intrigued by Kale Love decommitting from Michigan. Was it because of academics? There are some people saying it is because of academics, and that could be true. I'm not 100% sure if that's the case, so I don't want to have any unfound speculation, but if it is because of academics, then that really narrows down a lot of places where Caleb Love could go next because there's a lot of great academic schools out there and if he was not able to make it at Michigan then there's going to be a lot of schools he won't be able to transfer to in the portal. North Carolina, I don't know if that's why he left. I thought it was because of fit at UNC. Maybe Hubert Davis and the team was kind of moving on. They wanted to play more team oriented ball next season. I thought maybe that's why Caleb Love left and transferred to Michigan but maybe it could have been academics. We have no idea. Or it could have also been because Hunter Dickinson left and Michigan just does not look like they're going to be that great of a basketball basketball team next year. They have a lot of question marks and maybe Caleb Love wants to be on a team that's more of a surefire thing to have a lot of success next year. And if that's the case, then I think that the world is Caleb Love's oyster and he'll be able to transfer to almost any program in college basketball that still has an open starting two-guard spot available. And again, for Jawan Howard and the Michigan Wolverines, this is tough because they were already in a tough spot. He has brought in some transfers in the portal, but Jawan Howard did not have that headline transfer portal addition besides Caleb Love. So now that Caleb Love is gone, there's a chance that Michigan continues to struggle next year in the Big Ten. So hopefully for Caleb Love in Michigan that it was an academics issue because if Caleb Love is leaving because Michigan does not like they're going to be that good of a team next year and he wants out, then that is a bad look. If it's just because Caleb Love could not pass the academic requirements, still isn't a great look because Michigan should have known that he could not pass the academic requirements and that they would have to be able to get a guy that could fit the two-guard spot that they needed that could fit those academic requirements. Regardless of its academic requirements or some other issue or the fact that Caleb Love did not think that Michigan was going to win enough next year for for whatever the reason, Caleb Love is out. But Caleb Love instantly becomes the top guy on the portal left. He is a fantastic player, former five-star recruit, a really talented basketball player, and there's going to be a lot of programs, especially if there are no academic issues involved, that are going to want Caleb Love because Indiana is a program that recruited Caleb Love in the transfer portal. They're also a program that recruited him out of high school. Caleb Love could fill the two-guard spot that Indiana needs. They need a two-guard. Caleb Love needs a starting spot at a great program, and Indiana just landed McKenzie and Baco, and they've got some really talented players players on their team. So Indiana definitely could be a viable option for Kale Love next season because they're going to be a team that could have a lot of success next year with Mike Woods. And Indiana could be really dangerous, especially if they had Kale Love and he is willing to play team ball with the rest of the roster that they have, including Xavier Johnson at point guard and all the talented front court players that they have. Kale Love could really fit in Indiana, but if academics are a problem, Kale Love will not be able to transfer to Indiana because Indiana has great academic requirements just like Michigan does. And if the academics are an issue, he could go closer to home and get transferred to Missouri. Missouri could really use Kale Love. They're a team that is definitely capable of having success in the SEC next season, especially if Kobe Brown returns. We're not sure if he will return from the NBA draft or not, but if he does, and he does not enter the transfer portal as well, which there's been some rumors of that. Right now, college basketball is just a rumor mill, but if Caleb Love could go to Missouri and pair up with Kobe Brown, there's a really good chance Missouri could have some success with Dennis Gates, and they could be a team that could compete in the SEC. Don't know if they can win it, because there's some really good looking teams in the SEC next season, whether it's Alabama, Arkansas, Kentucky, and some of these other teams, but Missouri could be a team I think can make the NCAA tournament again in Dennis Gates' second season and have some success. But those are probably the two front runners in the portal. I'm sure there's going to be some other names that pop up. The first time Kale Love was in the portal transferring from North Carolina, there were not a lot of names that appeared. The transfer portal recruitment was very quiet, but you knew that Missouri and Indiana were on that list. And then he decided to go to Michigan a few days later. But it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with Caleb Love. I could see him going to a variety of programs in college basketball. If it is about academics, probably to a school of 
not as good with academics, so more than likely an SEC school like a Missouri. But if he wants to go to a place that wins and a team that's recruited him before, Indiana would be a good spot. But Indiana's high academics, so we'll have to see with Kale Love. But again, a tough loss for the Michigan Wolverines because they are definitely going to need to find a guy or two more in the portal now at that two-guard spot. And it might be too late in the game. The transfer portal is still open, and there's some really good players in it, but nobody of the caliber of Kale Love. So Juwan Howard and Michigan lost out on their top transfer portal commit in Kale Love, and Michigan's definitely going to have to be looking in the portal for some guys that can potentially replace him. But will they have any top-end guys left to be able to help Michigan compete in the top of the Big Ten next season? I'm not sure. It's tough for Kale Love, but again, Kale Love is a very interesting player to follow. I know a lot of people are intrigued on where he's going to go next. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Again, Indiana is a viable option if he has the academic requirements to go and he wants to be on a team that wins, or he could go closer to home and play at Missouri or some other school in the SEC, but it's going to be really interesting. Kale Love is an enigma, and his saga is just going to keep on continuing in the transfer as we continue in this college basketball offseason. Most of the big names are off the board, but Kale Love's back in it, and we're going to have to see where he's going to go, but Kale Love's definitely a guy that could help a team be better next year, especially if he plays team ball, but what a tough loss for Michigan, but it will be a big win for yet another college basketball program if they're able to land Kale Love, and he actually does suit up for that team next season. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about Kale Love decommitting from the Michigan Wolverines and what you think led him to decommit from Michigan if it was academics or if he did not think the Wolverines were going to be a great team next season. And which school you think is possible that Kale Love could transfer to next. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description and I'll see you next time.